Oh, hi. It's Chris from Maryland House. Excuse me, I'm far away in this cathedral. Hang on. Let me move a little bit closer, okay? Let me move halfway over. Right. That's closer. Tell you what, how about I move even closer still? Here we go. Because this is Air Windows K Cathedral 5. So, that was just a bit of showing off. I bet you're wondering what's new with this. Well, there's a couple of things. One of them is I've been improving the actual code for doing the uh, undersampling that I do, like the Bezier curve stuff that I've, I figured out a way to improve that, and I have done it. I have not only done it for the sample rate stuff, which it uses, but I've also included a filter which is the same as the DRES filter because this one's using the Bezier EQ rather than simply downsampling. The way that works, as you can see here, is filter at the center is as unfiltered as you can get. And then as you go to the left, you get stepped Bezier low pass filtering. If you go to the right, you get continuous Bezier low-pass filtering, which can produce weird-sounding artifacts. And what you get when you put this onto, say, drums, is you get something like this. So this is not unlike what we started out with in the previous K Cathedral. It seems like there's a lot of pre-echo in there and that's because this is using early reflections in such a way that the early reflections can be about the longest delays that are contained within this reverb but now we can do something about that so let's uh we could put the early no let's leave the early reflections up check this out early reflections don't get filtered but in this case it's going to show you what the sound of the early reflections off the walls around this drum kit are. And we can do this. So we're kind of far away, eh? The drums are right up front, but suppose we want to put them a little farther back. We've now moved it a little farther back in the hall. But we can go farther. Notice how positioning in the hall changes the tone of the sound. That's correct. You move things around in a hall to find the right sounding spot. That's what you'd be doing with this. And we can move it farther back in the hall. Until now, never mind that pre-echo, it doesn't seem to have as much of a pre-echo now. That's because we're sitting way back in the hall. And check it out, as you move it up against the back wall, you get low frequency reinforcements just as you would in a real space. So now it's literally up against the back wall. We can dial back early reflections, but it has basically the same sound. We can do more wet. 
to really exaggerate that sound, note that the tone will change as you move it within the hall, even if you don't have much dry there. This is farther forward rather than back up against the back wall. And of course, we can do regeneration. We can do derez, either stepped or continuous. Continuous sounds like this. And stepped has a cleaner tone to it when you do. And we'll make it so that you can't hear the early reflections. The early reflections are not filtered, but this is what the filter sounds like when you use that. Full filter. There's our Bezier filter in there. We can actually give it more regeneration so that you can hear that more easily. And then if you go the other direction, you're going to start hearing some weird sounds because it's going to be applying the funny sort of digital kind of artifacts. But even so, this is still in a cleaner and uh, more, well, hear for yourself. It's going to make funny sounds, but they're not quite the same as any previous funny sounds that this algorithm has made. And as we continue to sweep down, you get down to a low frequency again. That's what this form of filter control does. It goes two directions. And going to the left, it tends to be clean. Going to the right is like doing the continuous on DRES, where it's a you can swoop it to any frequency, but it might act funny. Like this. Bring it just off of the peak. And we can have sort of weird edginess going on. And maybe that'll work for something that you do. So I've made it available. Doesn't affect the early reflections. Or dry. So you can dial that in almost like it's some sort of resonant peak. It's a little weird that way. And go for darker tones in a cleaner way going to the left. And there you have it. I don't need to say that much about this because K-Cathedral 4 was fairly recent and it went over fairly well with people including the tone of it, except for there was that pre-delay thing where you had a pre-delay control, but nobody would ever use it because it's already rather pre-delayed. Just fix that. And I've got more stuff coming out like this. And uh, it's looking to be fun. I am even now like inventing new forms of console set up to address different reverb depths. My thinking is rather than use different reverbs for different spaces, why not simply use multiple auxes to go to different channels, each of which has a variant on, say, K Cathedral 5. And one year channels can be the very upfront sound with like the extremely high pre-delay of turning position all the way up. And then maybe not that much regeneration or anything, a, a range tone uh, to taste so that it has a subtle effect and is still feeding the same basic kind of reverb. And then for a far field effect, 
way back to a low position setting, maybe more regen, and middle settings split in the difference. The end result should be picking the ALKs that you use, which will then present the image of the instrument that you're doing, which could be completely and totally DI in a virtual space, convincingly. I'm looking forward to playing with that. But for now, I will talk to you later. Oh, by the way, I've been really cranking on this stuff, so I'm going to take like a week off from plugin posting. I'll probably be showing up on Blue Sky here and there, but um, I have actually worked up a enormous backlog of plugins, and so I have room to take a little bit of downtime. So next week, don't expect a plugin from me, but I'm going to get right back on it. And I have promised people console H before the end of the year, and I'm making some progress on that. But that's for another day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.